When I was seven, I robbed syrup on my sister's really big nipples. Nice. Fiddle diddle. Fiddle diddle. Fiddle riddle diddle diddle fiddle riddle diddle diddle for three hours I'm at it with my sister fiddle riddle diddle diddle and all the time my dad was watching me oh no the moment I dread when dad goes from being cheery to being fucking furious my father is waiting for me to say something I'm hoping he'll keel over and die and 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 they're gonna come back and find me here, and I've got out of bed, and I've come in his bed, and I've come in my sister, and I've come in a paper bag. One sloppy, cheesy, soggy lump stuck to the bag. So there I was, licking at my sister's nipples, and then there's my dad, and he's roaring. Would you believe it? <laughs> Bring my coffee, boy. Yes, Aunt Petunia. <laughs> I wondered when I'd be f***ing you, Mr. Potter. I wonder. Give it a wave. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> it's curious that you should be destined for this one when it's deceived. Gave you that brother. Yes, girl, Viva. Terrible. Harry. I think it is clear. Harry. We can expect terrible things from you. And who Harry. owned that one? The wizard, Mr. Potter. Dumbledore would be wanting his, uh... Well, he'd be wanting to see me. <laughs> Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. And you didn't disappoint. You let five people die. Like a leper. There's no going back. You've changed things. Like a leper. These, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. Like a leper. Like a leper. <laughs> Like a leper. Where are they? He's at 252nd Street. Where are they? She's uh, on Avenue X. Where are they? He's at 250. Where are they? She's. Where are they? I already told you. Where are they? Fortunate in my youth to come across a disfavored one. I think I could be safe. With a nice toffee. Mmm. A lot. Do you think you... Everyone will please panic. <laughs> Spongebob, how have you know my dick is very little? Let's hear it. <laughs> okay. Why couldn't the eleven-year-old get into the butt of pirate movie? Why? It was gay. <laughs> Dobby a cock. What? I can. Dobby is. Sucking balls has been an obsession of mine for the past seventeen years. Fuck me. Next, we eliminated fags. There really had to be another way to fuck. Our mission is simple. Fuck the obvious problems. Shut up. Harry. Once you've got hold of your room, I want you to mount it. And on my whistle, three, two, three, two, three. The only problem I saw was that she reeks. I mean, absolutely stinks. And, and what about Brad Pitt? Had you met him? Fuck Brad. Fuck the majority of people I've worked with. Fuck school. Oh, oh my God. He'd lean over and he'd go. Cock, cock, cock. About 300 pounds. Hard cock. Oh, really? Cock, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's, yep. it's coming at me. Yeah. Uh, hard. And oh, it's uh, Professor Sprout repellent. And we'll get those people down at the hospital. We'll be able to chop them up and stew them. 
Alright. How about a little music to count me Dixie to? That's pretty gay. Yeah, that's bad. I love grabbing young people's cup. Is there something you wish to tell me? Professor Dumbledore, sir. Oh, right. Well, I'll, um... Mm. I'll just wait outside, then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get up, you idiots! Double the powder and pop the pop! All right, man! Range 42! Range 42! Elevation 65! Range 42! Three degrees west! Personally, guarantee, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the one and only, the absolutely last case of Wonka bars. One thousand pounds. Two. <laughs> Greetings to you, the lucky fucker of this golden ticket, Willie. Present this ticket at the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning, Willie. Sorry, you got it. Easy, come so on. But suddenly I begin to see, cause I've got a golden dick. I've got a golden twinkle. I do appreciate you bringing me out here in such style, Mr. Long, but we do not allow cell phones in here. I'm sorry. I forgot I had it. No, I really came to tell you that you're accused. I think, Mr. Fox, a simple phone call might have sufficed. Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Mr. Fox. Mr. Wayne. Back on the streets, followed swiftly by you and me. Rocket <laughs> shit! Little liquid courage, Mr. Dent. Thank you. Alfred, right? No. Yeah, Rachel talks about you all the time. You, you've known her her whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this face. This is the face of Gotham's bright future. Hi, to Harvey Dent. Speed. 